so I'd like to know where has the Secret Service been? So if you haven't heard by now, second attempt on Trump's life happened earlier today at his golf course in West Palm Beach. International golf course. And this is over at Fox News. Welcome back to the Channel Culture Confederacy here it's Sunday night. So happy Sunday, everybody. And if you're new to the channel, no fancy graphics, epic soundtracks, pretty boy camera angles. Chew me my smartphone, the news of the day, and this mission, this crusade to preserve great art, music, history, and culture. Again, proving my point, maybe it's time to rethink the presidency. So it says here, the 58-year-old man accused of pointing an AK-47. This guy was in possession of an AK-47. Isn't that illegal? A former president, Donald Trump, on Sunday afternoon has a prolific arrest record that spans several decades. So he was known to the authorities. Now, the name of the suspect, Ryan Wesley Ruth, R-O-U-T-H, was arrested shortly after the incident, as I said, at Trump's International Golf Club in West Palm Beach. An authority said Secret Service agents fired at him after seeing the muzzle of his AK-47 pointing through a chain-link fence, which was one hole ahead of where Trump was playing. Shouldn't there have been Secret Service watching that area around the fence? I don't understand this. I got to share. So I think it was last year, our governor got reelected, gave a speech at our property. I work at a hotel. That's my day job. And the security was so tight, you couldn't go out and have a smoker scratch your ass without being noticed. They have bomb sniffing dogs, you name it. So they're calling this an apparent assassination attempt. And this is funny. So there was a clip at CNN. This is one of these local law enforcement types. May have been part of the Secret Service. I can't remember. So a reporter asked them, well, why wasn't there enough security or Secret Service at the golf club? So he responded by saying, well, because President, because former President Trump is not the president, he's not President Biden, He's not going to have the same level of secret service as, let's say, President Biden has. Wait, what? This guy is running for office. He already had an assassination attempt on his life. And you're going to claim now that uh, he doesn't need as much secret service as President Biden? Really? I guess you're too busy worrying about who's wearing a red tie at the secret service. Have you heard that one? So apparently, one of these honchos in the secret service got all pissed his panties in a wad because some of the people in the Secret Service were wearing red ties and he thought that mimicked Donald Trump wearing a red tie. So getting back to Ryan Wesley Ruth, a background check on the name given by officials revealed that he currently lives in Hawaii, moved there in 2017, and has faced dozens of run-ins with police stretching back to the late 1990s. Here are some of the charges, folks. Simple drug possession, driving without a license, expired inspection and operating a vehicle with no insurance. In addition, the Greensboro News and Record reported back in 2002 that he was arrested after barricading himself in his roofing company's office during a three-hour standoff with police and that there was a traffic stop that followed. I guess he escaped and then they uh, stopped him. Traffic stop. And he put his hand on a gun before fleeing. Can't remember if he fled the scene, uh, if he fled both scenes or not, but that's what happened. So he moved to Hawaii in 2017, started a new business, construction business, building houses for the homeless. A real do-gooder, and he had a LinkedIn page. So that's the latest, another Trump assassination attempt. There should have been secret service there from the get-go, all around the property, at the fence, because they found two backpacks and uh, I think a GoPro scope or something like that, some ceramic towel or something in these backpacks. Scary times, folks, scary times. Thought I'd share this with you. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. You can follow me at Instagram, hashtag Jason Composes, because I write music in my spare time. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. 
or you can go to X, Culture Confederacy, at Culture Confed one on X, or find me at Substack. This is the Culture Confederacy saying peace out. Stay safe, everybody. God bless this thing called the United States. I'll catch you next time, and y'all have a great Sunday night. Take care.